the next usage is to single out a person or a thing as a representative of a class i would explain that to an ex through an example fine please read the sentence a dog is a faithful animal when i say a dog is a faithful animal do i mean one dog is a faithful animal no i don't so what am i doing here i am singling out one dog as a representative of the whole class of dogs of all the dogs around the world now this dog is a representative so pointing at the dog i would say a dog is a faithful animal okay so the same thing you can use you can do using the article the also okay please listen the same thing you can do using the article the when i say the dog is a faithful animal it has the same meaning as the first sentence okay only a subtle difference in the first one as i told you i singled out one dog to be a representative of all the dogs in the second sentence i don't do that i simply say when i say the dog it means all the dogs okay so that's the difference fine now let me come to the next usage so friends i told you in the beginning usually we use an indefinite article with a common noun and not with a proper noun but there is an exception okay in grammar there are lot of rules and more than rules there are actually exceptions okay so here is one such exception he is a shakespeare okay what happened here suppose one of my friends write a poem a poem or a play or something literary so i read it and i'm impressed and i say my goodness he is a shakespeare so what do you mean here here shakespeare is not a name in fact this name stands for a quality a quality of what a quality of having a talent in writing things okay or literary prowess that is what shakespeare stands for here so when i say he is a shakespeare it simply means he is a good writer okay similarly imagine one of your friends is showing too much kindness to people if she is too lenient with people we would say she thinks she is a mother teresa okay so there mother teresa rather than using it as a name we are using it as a quality the quality of kindness and love all right okay friends next is the usage of the indefinite article in exclamatory sentences i hope you know what exclamatory sentences are we express a sudden emotion in exclamatory sentences right so look at these sentences so in all, all these sentences you are expressing a certain spurt of some particular emotion right so these sentences are self explanatory right when i say what a hot day right so what you should pay attention to is the placement of article so please see that i have written what a hot day and it's wrong to say what hot a day okay please don't make that mistake if i say if i take pick up this article and put it here the sentence would be wrong okay so it's what a hot day and not what hot a day similarly what a shot okay i am expressing amusement 
and here how fine an evening okay so in all these sentences what you should pay attention to is the placement of the article okay similarly we use indefinite articles in certain sentences which use the expressions such to as quiet so etc for example i would say it was such a hot day that i could not go out okay so please don't make the mistake of saying it was a such hot day that i could not go out no okay so placement of the article is important now he was too honest a police officer to accept bribe okay he was too honest a police officer to accept bribe next she is as intelligent a student as her sister again please observe the placement of the article now another sentence using quiet this is quite an interesting story okay see where quiet comes and see where the article comes all right so the placement of the article is of great importance next the definite the, the indefinite articles are also used before verbs which does the function of nouns so what are such verbs let's see Look at these sentences. Here, you would understand that walk and visit are not verbs; they are rather nouns. They are verbs which does the function of nouns. So, in certain sentences, before such words, we use the definite article, the indefinite article. I invited him for a walk, and he paid his mother a visit. 